Ken, what we need to do is let's go through and clean this one out because I was looking at it and we've got a lot of trash and debris. This one has been used. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the burner assembly, clean the electrode. This is, of course, the circuit board. We're going to clean the contacts on it. But we're also going to clean out the burner tube as far as the flue tube that's here. And I'm going to show you a really nifty way to do this. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Let's take off all of the uh, flame flue deflector here and let's just take all this assembly off loose here. Should be about three or four hex head screws, quarter inch, it'll hold that on. We'll pull that assembly off. Our next step is you've gone ahead and turned off the propane at the tank. So let's go ahead and, and break this line right here and take the propane line loose. We want to be sure to use a backup because this is uh, aluminum here and believe you me, they will break real easy. Now I'm going to use just a pair of vice grips and use a crescent wrench, it doesn't matter. And then, there you go. You'll be sure to hold that when you go to lift up on that and break that joint loose. What we're looking at here is if you look, we've got the electrodes. See how they've been dis discolored? We're going to want to clean those up real good. We're going to clean all this burner too. So we're going to take it apart even a little bit more than this. But like I say, the main thing is, is we want to check the coils, make sure that they're good. These uh, coils for the gas valve. We're going to clean the burner tube for the gas tube here. This flame spreader, we want to clean that up. And we're also going to clean these electrodes up, okay? So let's go ahead and focus on clean, taking this, finish taking this thing apart. Does it apart. matter which one goes on which side? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Now, but I notice it has little places on there. Mm -hmm. And so if you'll notice these little knobbies that are here, and they're going to project through these holes. Well, let's see here. They sometimes have to hold them out just right. And that holds them in place right there. So if you've got your Phillips screwdrivers and your Phillips head screws, we'll just run those down in there. Now, this gas valve is not repairable. We're ready. See how much quieter it got? What you're after is a nice blue flame with just a little bit of yellow tip. Now let me open it back up for you so you can hear it. This is the way it's supposed to be running right now. It's got a nice good flame, it's kind of quiet. Let's see how loud it can get. Well trust me, it's kind of hard to sleep when you've got that kind of noise going. And that's how you adjust the, the air shutter on the Atwood water heater.